My name is Jose Brazier, but I was born Jose Baldwin in Cinderford in 1937, the only child of Archer and Gladys Baldwin. My father was a printer in the Mercury office, Cinderford. The Mercury was the forerunner of the Forester. Dad was the youngest of ten children. My grandfather was a baker with his own business, and in the early 1900s, he bought the Plec in Haywood Road. Now it's Sundean Vets. And here's a photo of the Plec when my father was about five. I know it was taken very early in the morning to get the light. Uh, this is my father and his brothers and sisters, grandma, grandpa. And in the 19th century, the house was the police station in Cinderford. My father met and married my mother, a Lidbrook girl, in the early 30s. I was born a year later, and my mother taught me to read at the age of four and sent me to Miss Young's little preparatory school in Abbey Street, Cinderford. This photograph was taken in the summer of 1948. It's a photograph of me at the age of 11 on my horse, Kitty, uh, with my uncle Reg, who's on our other horse, Mary, and we're outside the plec. It was a marvellous day for me. I loved riding, and we used to go in great long treks to the speech house, where Mary was given a pint of beer always. She loved beer. This was the horse, not me. In those days, you could ride to the speech house with no obstruction. There was very, very little traffic on the roads, no picnic spots, no car parks, and not many people. Cinderford was a hive of activity in the late 1940s and 50s, and there were lots of processions through the streets. Here's a photo taken in 1947 with me on my horse dressed as a cowgirl, it was taken near the Causeway Mount, which is now the site of Haywood School or the Forest Academy. The Mount has since been demolished, but it was a feature of Cinderford, a former slag heap which got covered in grass, but it seemed like a mountain to us children. Everybody had to climb up it. I remember going to a little party at Bilson Mission, the Tin Church, one Christmas with Miss Young's school, though the eating part of the party happened later on at Moore's Cafe in the Triangle. My other memory of the Tin Church is when it was used as the doctor's surgery and we had to wait to see the doctor in the main part of the church. The doctor saw his patients in a screened-off section, but the screen wasn't soundproof, and those waiting were treated to the various ailments of the patients through the screen. This was when Dr. Arthur came to Cinderford, so it must have been, I think, about the mid-70s. 